Hi, driveway DIY here. Uh, today I'm going to talk about engine earths, uh, circuit earths, uh, and how when we have a problem with uh, one of the circuits on our cars that we always uh, try and get to the bottom of it and wonder what's causing it. And one of the things I want to talk about today is uh, just a bad earth, really dirty earths, bad earths, bad connections, things like that. Is that when you're uh, that when you're looking for an earth? and how uh, that the earth should always be connected to the part of the engine, part of the body, chassis, things like that. And then when we're looking for the earth, and how we uh, go about finding an earth as well. Uh, one of the things I want to talk about, it's only a quick video really, but one of the things I want to talk about is how, uh, is how rust and grime, things like that get in the way of it. So. If I show you how to look for an earth, one of the things we need to to do is how to connect using a test light. You can use a voltmeter or whatever, but I tend to use a test light just to look for quick earths. Uh, one of the things you need to look at is uh, how to connect to look for an earth is by uh, connecting to battery positive. There you go. There we go, we've got a light there, so that's an earth, so we're looking for an earth there. So we're connected to battery positive, and there's uh, uh, there's battery battery negative, and there's it, there's one earth, the first earth, that's the main one. So if we look around, come away from the engine, coming away from the battery, going to the uh, going to the distributor. There we go, there we've got another earth. So we're earthed up to that part. We'll go to the uh, engine block. There we go. You can see we'll it up there. Uh, we've got earths down. What other earths have we got? There we go. We've got an earth that goes to the chassis. There we go. We'll light up there. So that's a really, really good earth, so we know that the uh, circuit is completely fluent to that point. Uh, here we have a rusted old screw that's got an earth. Uh, we put it on there. See, there's a bit of a struggle for a light. Got it, oh, there we go. See, we've gone in through the, through the rust. It's gone out again. But if we go... So go going properly. There we go. So that point there shows that rust really, really gets in the way of an engine earth. Uh, so we need to keep all our uh, earth points clean. So there we go again. So we're connected to battery positive. And we're looking for all the engine earths, any earths on the car, whether it be a light, headlights, various places like that. Always consult, a, uh, if you're going to do any electrical work, always consult a, uh, a Haynes manual or anything uh, official before take it, undertaking any sort of work to do with electrical. Uh, but anything that might not be working, the first part of the call, like headlights, always be looking for, uh, check the earths there, some earths down here. There we go. There we go, we've got an earth, we've got a test light on there. What else we got? So anything that doesn't light, you need to be aware of what should light up and what shouldn't. Uh, but anything that's connected electrical for the case, uh, alternator case, should light up. There we go, go down there. There we go, alternator, there we go. We've got earth there. What else we got? Uh, there we go, we've got engine cover, got a slight light on there, go down to the engine block, there we go, we've got a good earth there. Uh, see a lot, a lot of the videos on YouTube talk, talk about vary, working on various circuits, but don't actually show you what to uh, hook up to find an earth, so I'm pretty much showing you on this one. So we're up to battery positive. 
looking for a nerf. Just this is just a basic video of finding a nerf. I'm looking at grime and how grime and rust gets in the way of it. Uh, so for jump starting as well, if you're trying to jump start a car, you need to go to an earth. You need to find a good earth there. There we go. We've got a good one. Look at that. So those points could be where to hook up your uh, earth cable for a jump start. But you need to uh, rub some of this grime away. And obviously, if you've got a bad earth, then the test light won't show up, as I showed you here. So there. Uh, I'm resting on rust, so there's no test, no light come up. There we go. Go through the rust. There's your test light. There's your light coming up. Uh, this is just basic video on how to find, try and find an earth uh, before putting your car in for a garage. Could be easy as just taking part of the screw right down there. Oh. There we go, there's your test light. There's your light. So if you've got a poor ground, you've got a light, take your, uh, take your ground off, give it a good clean and put it back. Okay, that's all I've got to say about this. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps you.